Hello, and welcome to Mercer. Mercer is a platform that helps creators concept, design, and produce fashion products and collections. Today, we're going to be showing you how to create your first design using Mercer's AI tools. We're also going to be showing you how to create an AI influence, which is a fine-tuned AI model that you can use to guide your new AI generations to match and fit your brand. You'll notice that when you first log into Mercer, we've created a team and collection for you. To create your first design, click New Design here, then click Create AI Design. Here you can select from a list of product categories. We're going to be creating a hoodie. Next, you can enter the adjectives of your hoodie. So for this hoodie, we're going to say Oversize. We'd like it to be made out of black cotton. And as a feature of it, we'd like the text Mercer embroidered in white, spread across the chest. Next, we're going to click Generate Designs. This will generally take about 15 seconds to 30 seconds, depending on the complexity of the design. Great. So here, we're going to select the designs that we like to add and click Insert. And you can see we have a couple of oversized hoodies with the word Mercer embroidered across the chest. Next, we'll show you how to create your own AI influence. Head over to the AI Influences tab, click Create New AI Influence. Select the team that we'd like the influence to belong to and click Create AI Influence. Next, we're going to drag and drop our product catalog in here. For this influence, we're training the AI on our outerwear styles. You can reorder the images as you like on the left side. Next, we're going to give our influence a name. And from here, we can describe the images ourselves. And the way this works is that the AI will pick up on these descriptions and pay attention to whatever we describe about the image. That said, for your first AI influence, we recommend that you don't try to describe them manually. If you leave these blank, the AI will actually auto-describe your products for you. Next, we're going to hit Train, and this will take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the complexity of your training set. Great! Our AI influence is now trained, and here you can see when it was last trained and an indication light that shows this is indeed published and ready for use. And the training button has been grayed out until you make a change to this AI influence, at which point you can retrain it again. You'll also notice you have an indication of how many trainings you have left for your current billing cycle. Now we're going to use this influence in a new generation, and for this example, we're going to be generating a long coat. You can take a look at these three coats that this influence has been trained on. And now to create a new coat, we're going to pop back to our team, create a new design, and select coat. Here, we're going to enter long to describe the coat and we'll say black and white. Next, we're going to click Generate, just to give you an idea of what the default results would look like without an AI influence applied. Great. Next, we're going to go back and using the exact same prompt, we're going to apply our influence and hit Generate. Excellent. You can see that the influence generations really took inspiration from the products that this influence was trained on. And to show you a comparison, we'll go back to the influence and take a look at those products it was trained on. Great. Well, now you know how to create your first designs, how to create your first AI influence, and how to use that influence in new generations in Mercer. We really hope you enjoy using the product, and we can't wait to see what you create.